Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to give you a little tour of the latest edition of the GOAT project, which is a DIY feeder you see right there on the fence line. I didn't really film uh, showing how I built it uh, because I really wasn't sure what direction I was gonna go when I was trying to figure it out, but I thought it turned out pretty cool. So I'll give you a little walk around, uh, talk about the dimensions, how it works, uh, because it's uh, uh, filled up from the outside of the goat yard and then I will show you some film of the goats eating from it and uh, tell you what is to come next in this goat project. So starting from the top down, the roofing structure that provides rain coverage for the feed down below is approximately 50 inches long and each of the structural members that extends out on either side is 21 inches long with the roofing extending an additional inch and a half. And this little piece right here is about 13 inches end to end. And I've just secured this whole structure to the uh, fence with some homemade brackets made of the same steel angle. You can see they are bolted there. And that is pretty much it for the roofing. All of the roof and trim is the same as you've seen me do so many other times in videos. Just uh, standard roofing screws uh, flashing on the ends just to kind of give it a nice cleaned up look. And moving down below to the functioning portion of the feeder. This is comprised of two square frames. The outer frame right here is 34 and a half inches by 34 and a half inches and it is attached to the fence line and the inner frame which is what all of this sheet metal is attached to is about 31 inches and that allows for a one quarter inch gap all the way around and you'll see in a bit that this actually folds out that's why I've got hinges down below and little barrel locks up on the upper portion of it. Uh, so that way I can fill this up with hay from the outside um, because eventually all of that hay right there is going to be stored in a little uh, hay barn structure um, so you can go and fill it up without ever having to go in the goat yard. And then I'll show you some clips on the inside. The hay is uh, kept inside with just some of the fencing that I cut out to allow this feeder to uh, be mounted here. Um, and just kind of holds it at an angle so that the goats can uh, freely feed uh, whatever size they are. And you will see down there is a little trough that I made to catch all of the straggler pieces of hay and to allow the smaller goats to be able to stand up there to get up to the hay that is in there. And now I will show you how we fill it up and the goats eating from it. That's a milk goat right there. So you can see it definitely works and the goats seem to have taken to it very well. Been using it for about a week and a half and really there's no issues but one thing I will probably make a change on is the sides. You can see how I put these wooden sides to kind of contain the feed while it's in the closed position. But when it's open and we fill it up with the hay, uh, eventually, or at some points, the goats tend to try to put their necks through there, which isn't really much of a problem except for when we're trying to close it. And then we kind of have to reach our hands in and push them out. So eventually I'll use some of this fencing material and close this off uh, to where they can't put, really put their heads through while I am trying to close it.
<laughs> well, I think that's going to conclude the tour portion of this video. I don't know if it was interesting, but hopefully it was, and perhaps it gave you some ideas on projects of your own, whether or not you have goats or any livestock for that matter. Now I'm going to try to answer some of the questions that I think <laughs> you may be uh, wondering about as far as what's to come in this project. And then, uh, I don't know, things of that sort. So the first thing that I'm guessing some of you may be wondering is what we are feeding our goats as far as the hay. Uh, we are trying to match what the people we got them from uh, were feeding them. So it's a blend of first and second cut alfalfa. Uh, for the most part, I think I did get one bale of third cut uh, just because that's what was available. Uh, but that is pretty much what we are feeding them other than some uh, calf mana and beets, uh, shredded beets for treats. Um, and as I think I mentioned in the last video, um, the milk tastes great. So I guess as far as I know, if you feed them clean, everything tastes good on the way out as far as the mama is concerned. Uh, now, uh, I think as far as what is to come, um, you can see it right here. We have been watering the goats with a couple of water troughs. Well, obviously that is just temporary because eventually, you know, I put gutters on this and uh, you may have noticed I have all of the hay over there underneath that tarp. Eventually I'm going to be building some sort of kind of hay structure or something like that, probably about here, um, but perhaps it'll be off of the barn. Not quite sure yet, but uh, anyway, all of the hay will be stored on the outside of the goat yard, which is why I uh, spent the effort to make that thing tilt out so that I could uh, fill it from the outside, not having to go in the goat yard. And then, um... <laughs> oh, actually, if you're wondering, if everything looks wet, um, right after I filmed those uh, last few clips, we got about three eighths of an inch of rain and all of the hay in that feeder is dry. Uh, it was kind of blowing at this uh, from the southwest, uh, which is usually where we get most of our driving rain. And that's kind of why I made that other side solid so it could act as a tray, but also act as a little bit of a barrier uh, for that. And then um, another project that will be to come I'm going to be rebuilding um, a nicer version of this milking stand. As I mentioned in the last goat video, this stand <laughs> was just something I made really quickly because we weren't exactly planning on getting the mama in milk that you saw in the last video. So I think that is pretty much it. Oh, uh, one thing I just did notice, if you look out there, my game camera that I had set up on the little rainwater harvesting wildlife water on the back of the property. I brought it over here because I'm hoping to see what kind of animals come being interested in the goats. Um, but as I mentioned in the last video, I built all of this so we close them up at night and they will be secure for mountain lions or bobcats or whatever. But I would like to see what kind of uh, videos I can get of the critters that are coming by here. Uh, because we have been getting deer uh, prints, uh, so I don't know if the deer are coming and eating any of that alfalfa or not. but. In the next goat video, you will definitely probably see that. So I think that is going to do it. Um, definitely not my most polished video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. I always appreciate you watching, commenting. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, remember, you can find my videos also on Odyssey and Rumble. Uh, if you want to watch on different platforms and subscribe if you want more similar content and what's to come. I'm going to be doing, uh, as far as the next videos, I'm gonna be doing a rainwater harvesting system on the Shiba Container Playhouse, uh, a couple of the shop projects, and then we are going on a couple of big camping trips, so I'll probably have some camping-related videos. So, see ya.